if you are building any kind of C++ project, whether it is a very small project or it's a big project, CMake is the go-to standard for building cross-platform code in C++. If you build for Linux, Mac, or Windows operating system, using CMake makes it easy for your code to be portable. By portable, it means you can write the code in one platform and you compile it for all the different platforms. In this video, I will go through the basics of CMake. You'll see the basic structure of a CMake project. As a prerequisite, you need a C++ compiler. I already have this uh, on my own computer. You can verify it like this, GCC version. And how do you install a GCC? It depends on your operating system. But if you are using Windows, if you go to this website, msys2.org, this website, you will see installation instructions on how to install C++ compiler for Windows. The next thing that you need is CMake. You need to install CMake itself. If you go to the CMake website, cmake.org, you can download it here and you install, install it on your computer. Whether you are installing on Windows, Mac or Linux, there is a version for the operating system of your choice. This is Unix Linux and this is uh, for Windows. And when you have it installed, you can verify it. I can verify my like CMake version. The next thing that you need is a text editor. You can use Visual Studio Code. You can use Vim. You can use C Lion or Visual Studio. If you want to get Visual Studio Code installed, it is free. All of these tools are free. You go to code.visualstudio.com come and you can see here if you are using mac operating system you have the installer here for other platforms you have windows here linux here and we have mac you install it on your system assume that you have all the tools your project structure should look like this this is the simplest structure that you can have for your c code let us mimic this one on our own project I have a directory here called C++, CPP. If we, I list it, there is nothing here. So let us create, you see, you saw here, we have my project. I will call it a demo and I will create source. I will create main.cpp inside source. I will create cmakelist.txt as you see there. I'll clear my screen. If you don't know what I'm doing, this is a terminal. I have a tutorial on YouTube called Terminal Essentials. You can see how you can navigate the terminal, create directories. So I will not go into details on explaining this. You can watch this video and you will see how to uh, manage your directories. So I'll create a directory here called uh, demo or CMake demo. So I will move into CMake demo like that. And I will create another directory called source. I'll create a directory called source. I will create a file called main.cpp inside source. And I will create another file called cmakelist.txt. Now, this is how our directory looks like. If I go back and I show you the structure of CMake demo, it looks like this. The same thing that we have in this uh, PowerPoint slides. We have my project here, my project is uh, CMake, dem CMake demo and we also have the main.cpp inside the source directory which is under CMake demo and we have the CMake list. I already have my Visual Studio code installed so I will open it like this. So this is the Visual Studio code. This is my project here. This is the parent directory and we have the source and we have main. There's nothing here. And the CMake list is there is nothing there. Uh, let us write a simple C program that brings Hello CMake. So we'll start by including the IO stream and do this as in C and uh, we say 
standard C out, hello C make like that. And we'll return zero. How do we compile this? We need to specify everything here in our C make list. I have my C make list earlier. I will explain this to you. So I have comments that defines everything. We have C make version. We need to specify it. We need to specify the project name. So I will change this to C make demo like that. We can change the executable to app like this. And that's it. By this, we are telling, let me explain a little bit. This is the minimum version of C, C make that we expect on the system. And our project will be C++, language is CXX, C++. And if you want it to be C, you remove the XX, it will be C. So the C++ standard is C++ 17, and it is required. It is required. The system needs to have C++ 17 for this project to work. The next thing is to compile our project and run it. How to compile this? So we have, this is our project here. It's inside uh, CMake demo. Well, we'll make a directory called build. And we move into the build directory like this. And the simplest way to compile this is to just type CMake like this, CMake. And specify the directory where CMake is. It is the directory above this one. And you hit enter on your keyboard. There are many things that we can specify. We can also specify the build type if you want it to be released. But this is a demo for CMake. Now, the next thing is to make the project. Now, create the executable. We have the executable here. If I write ls here, this is the executable. If I run it like that up, we have this hello CMake. Voila. It means... This is the simplest of projects that you can have in C++. This is the project that we have compiled. And now we have the executable. 